Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to uh, Minecraft on the Arcadia server. And I'm back here in Canton on Sea for what's going to be a special episode of uh, this series. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not going to broadcast this one immediately. You'll see why in just a second. I'm going to just let you guys know that today's date, the date of recording, is the 23rd, 23rd rather, of. April and I'm here outside modern Murtai's house and it's time for a little payback I think um, you know the uh, the far-fetched uh, statue on top of my house was all well and good I really quite enjoyed that as a matter of fact but uh, there was a small matter of all the chickens they put in it I mean not only is that cruelty to chickens it's the fact that they were annoyingly loud so I think we're just going to have to get back on this. Hello, cats. Hello, oh, hello, Mrs. Wallowitz. Uh, we're going to have to get back a little bit, I think. And I think it's just time for... Yeah, you know, one annoying noise deserves an annoying noise in return. And it's only fair that we put it somewhere where they're you know, less than likely to see it, I think. Yeah, you know, just to add that sense of mystery and adventure. And I'm thinking... I'd say about here would do, wouldn't you? Let's just cover that up just for a second. There we go. And look at this. By some strange coincidence, there's these nice little cavernous spaces there for me to put a... <sighs> a, co a, a correctional device in, shall we say? Let's, let's, let's call it a correctional device, shall we? Yes. That seems like a fair thing to call it. So, I'm going to get building... And this is the time for a building montage. Hey! hey. There we go. This is a timed circuit which will, every few seconds, just give us a little skip. And that skip is set down to these hoppers which sends a signal through to this note block. It just gives us a, a nice thump. Right, now, I'm going to turn this one off for a second. And we turn it off by giving it a signal up here, actually. So, and just stick a redstone torch there. And that locks that in place. And there's nothing there. Uh, right, what I want to do is uh, set the timing on this. And uh, we do that by changing the number of blocks in this hopper clock here. Now, they'll feed through over to the other side, but they'll stop there because they can't get back. So, what that will do is every 60 ticks which is about 50 seconds these will switch from side to side which gives just a little bit of time where there's no circuit no no power going through this redstone which allows this block to pop over to this side for just one tick which sends a signal through to the note block so every once in a while we get the thump and So, now we have this one, we need to make one over the other side. But before I do that, I want to make a little controlling circuit for this. And we're going to do that by placing a switch here. In fact, let's give myself a little bit more space. And by nearest coincidence, a little bit more iron. What a shame. So we'll put a block there. I have a lever. I want to put there and a torch that I will put on the other side and that is going to be the power of it so if I flip that switch that turns the light off if I slip the switch back turns the light on and this is going to be the controller so 
as as long as there's power coming down this piece of circuitry there won't be power coming down the other one and that's going to need actually i'm going to put that relay somewhere else put that like that we should get a bit of redstone circuitry up to here that's good so i'll put the relay in here and that will boost there we go that'll boost the signal get rid of that don't need that and we just run the redstone signal out to here like that and that's controlling it so as long as this light is on this circuit won't work there we go that's got rid of all them they're just sitting there waiting to go so now what we want to do is build one over the other side and we will do that here in exactly the same way but there with one small difference I want one of them to sound off just a little bit after the other so that will give it a few seconds delay which will have the nice effect of giving it a like heartbeat sound dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. slow down over the period of of uh sorry about the message is coming in that'll be slowed down over the period of uh 60 seconds so we dun -dun. Wait 60 seconds. Do -do wait 60 seconds. Do -do wait 60 seconds. It's going to be very, 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 very annoying. And that is exactly what I want. So let's go and make this one. And there's no need for you to see two of them being made. So I will see you in just a sec. Right, there we have it. Another one built. So we're going to have two of these on either side and there should be a couple of seconds delay between thumps. Might come back later on and add a few more of these note blocks just to give it the proper stereoscopic sound. But now if we turn this on like that and go out here and cover our tracks like this. We should, in a minute or two, and I'm going to cut to it, have a nice sound. There we go. All right, now all I need to do is own up to the prank because that is what you do in this game to be polite. So I'm going to turn it off for a second and go and get some signs and a little something. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, here we are back in my workshop, which is, I should imagine it's been redecorated by the time you see this, but uh, here it is, pre-redecoration, and we're going to have to make a few things. Now, first of all, let's make a hat. Let's make a hat. It's a very nice hat. And I'm going to want some pink dye, so we'll take some rose red, and we'll make some bone meal. And we'll mix the two, which gives us pink dye. Gives us a nice pink leather cap. Is that going to be pinker? No, it doesn't get any pinker. Okay, so lovely pink leather cap. Let me just let me just model that for you. There, doesn't that look wonderful? Wonderfully pink. Oh, very nice. Okay, right, and that's not for me, so I should put that back. And I'm going to want a chest. Do I have any wood? Yes, I have some wood. So we'll have a chest like that, and I'm going to want a sign. Don't have any signs, which is unusual for me. So we'll grab some signs. There we go. And just going to move the microphone because I need to see the keyboard. Just one sec. Right. Sorry about the way I sound. All right. Uh, first of all, let's give this a name. Apologies. 
Yes, once again, I think we need to apologize. So this is going to be called the cap of mod aversion. Yes. Yes, another apology to uh, to Murtai there. Okay, so the cap. Uh, apologies. In fact, let's rename that. Apologies. Okay, there we go. Right. Apologies. Murtai. There we go. Spent a few levels on that, but it's entirely good. So what we'll do is we'll take that and that. And the last thing I want to do is make a book and we'll... I think I've got some stuff in there. Those books. So we'll grab a book. Um, and we're going to want a chicken feather, I think, oh yeah, there we go, there's a chicken feather, and we want some black ink, and I've got a load of that floating around, there we go, like that, so we'll just craft ourselves up a, hello, hello Gullen, we'll just craft ourselves up a book and quill there, okay, and... Sorry, Mertai, you got involved in a prank again. Sorry about that. Perhaps this fashionable hat will make up for it. So there we go, sign that, there we go, uh, the titles, apologies again, by Simon Parsons, signing closed, there we go, so I've now got a book, I've got a chest, I've got the cap of mod aversion, and a sign, so now let's run back to mods, and own up, uh, well, Yes, well, I defined it as me owning up, so that's only right, so I'll see you just in a second. Right, so here we are. Let's put down the chest in there. Right, uh, that, and that there. Okay, so there we go. And... Right, let's type in a message here. Hugs, Simon, there we go, that'll do, alright, that'll be it, that be, I've owned up to my prank, so all that remains to do is turn this on, which, let's do that now, get out of here, and cover our tracks. There we go. So, that's me done. Just need to wait. Just give it one more test. Cue squeaky voice. <laughs> there we go. Let's see uh, how well it can be heard on different floors. Meow. How'd you get in here? Let's see. Uh, there's a seven there. Just there. Stick a torch down by them. Yep, yeah, we can hear it on this floor. But I think that's all right. Oh, yep, it's faint, but I just heard it. Okay. There we go. Right, that's that uh, job done. Going to be interesting to know just how long it's going to be before you see this video. So, until then, 
I've been Sammy Parsons. This has been Modern Murtai's rather nice little country residence. Thank you and good night.